Good morning. Hello there. Welcome to the Daily VoiceOver Huddle. Before I do anything else, I'm back in my studio and I want to make, can you hear me? I want to make sure everything is hooked up properly. And and if you just give me a yes, can you hear me okay? Because the input, I think you're probably hearing me through the microphone of my of the notebook computer as opposed to my microphone that I'm using. Just because I didn't set up uh, properly this morning. I just want to make sure you can hear me. Can you hear me? Let me know there. Yeah, I can hear you, Bill. Okay, awesome. But sounds a little different. You may be listening through, again, through the internal microphone of the computer instead of this. So my apologies for that, but just want to make sure we're good. Well, yeah, as I said, and as you can see, I am back in my studio. And today we're going to talk about the most important aspect of your voiceover business, your word. And I don't mean the words that come out of your mouth. I mean, the things that you say that you're going to do, do you do them? Yeah, we're going to. Have you ever heard anybody talk about, be honest here in the chat. Have you ever heard anybody talk about keeping your word as a voice or talent to your clients? I'm curious. I, I honestly cannot remember one time I've heard somebody else talk about it. And it is single handedly the most important aspect of growing a business of any sort, voiceover or otherwise. Um, and if not, it, it's, we're going to hear about it this morning and it's, it's very fresh on my mind because of what's going on. And, and you've been hearing me talk about what's been going on at the house, maybe more than you want to, but it's like, it is the, been the, the center of all activity for us and our lives have revolved around what's been going on. And, um, I had the best sleep of my, I, not in my life, but I would say the best sleep I've had in a long time last night. It was nice to be back in my own bed. And it was good to be back here. But here's the here's the thing that really is is on my mind this morning. I wanted to share with you because it's so incredibly important important, and I don't hear anybody else ever talk about it. But yet it's so. I mean, it's not like a hidden thing. It's 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 not a secret. It's the most obvious. Or it should be the most obvious thing. But it's the thing that a lot of people don't do, and that is keeping their word. And let me relate it to what's been going on here. If you've ever worked with contractors of any sort, uh, I'm sure you probably had um, moments of frustration. Maybe, you know, you hired somebody to do this, that, or the other, and they didn't show up, or they, they you know, they did part of the job, and then they didn't show, you know, then they ghosted you, or any number of things. And in this latest this project that we had where we needed our house painted, we needed uh, all this stuff, you know, some remodeling, a whole lot of work needed to be done. And it took me three contractors to find somebody to do the job. And when I say that, what I mean is the first two contractors that I reached out to didn't follow up and do what they said they were going to do. They just, one said he was going to contact me back. I, I didn't hear back from him for like, it was over a month. And by that time, it was too late. The other guy, I still never heard back from. But the third, <laughs> I feel like the three little piggies, but the third contractor, you know, this guy, not only did they show up, they've done outstanding work. They started by painting our house. Then they uh, they put in all, you know, like new lights through the house they redid the floors on the main floor of our, our home, like sanding down the wood floor and, and putting in some new flooring and matching stain and, and they're remodeling our kitchen. They're doing amazing work. But the thing that really blows me away is that every time they say they're going to do something, they do it. And not only do they do it, they do it in the time frame that they say they're going to do it. I mean, I'm blown away. I'm absolutely blown away. And I'll give you, let me give you one, one big example. Um, yesterday, the latest thing they're working on has been our flooring, the wood flooring, which needed to be sanded down, stripped, restained. And, and, uh, and it was, it was more than that. I mean, it was a big project. Uh, it had to do also with laying other flooring and then matching it up. And, and he told us a few days ago, he said, well, ha I'll have you back in the house by Wednesday. And yesterday, Vicky and I were talking Wednesday and we said, you know what, there's no way there's just, it's not even possible, humanly possible for that to happen. You know, I'm sure he meant well. And frankly, I would have forgiven him for that. That's, you know, I, I get it. You know, you, you, you want to really please your client and, and sometimes you make promises that you intend to keep, but you just can't. And it didn't seem 
to us to be humanly possible to do it. We had no intention of moving back into our house yesterday. We thought maybe this weekend. And again, we've been fine with that. No problem because, yeah, I mean, they're only human beings. But, but he calls us early yesterday and said, hey, it's ready for you to move in. We came over. We're blown away by the job they did. It was fantastic. But above that, he kept his word. Again, every single thing he said they're going to do and the time frame they're going to do it, and there's been a number of things, they've met it every single time. Now, yes, it makes me happy, but here's what's going to happen. Let's talk about the business, the business consequences of all of this. The next time I need anything done in my house, who am I going to call? Of course, I'd be foolish to call anybody else. The next time somebody says they're getting ready to have a project done at their house, who am I going to recommend? that they contact. Absolutely. They're going to contact this guy and his crew because they have blown us away with the quality of their work and with the timeliness of their work and doing what they say they're going to do, which is virtually, at least in my experience, virtually unheard of in the construction world. So you can, um, you can imagine why I'm so surprised that nobody's talking about this in voiceover. You know, we think it's all about our voice. And sure, the, our voice is the tool that we get the job done. And what they use, this crew that's here, they use hammers and saws and nail guns and all, you know, that's, that's their tools. I don't hire them because of the tools. I hire them because of the job that they do, the quality at which they do it, the way they, which they, the way in which they do it and the way they conduct their business. And keeping their word is really at the top of the list. And there are times when things happen when you can't do what you say you're going to do. It should be rare, but when it happens, it's about communicating and talking to the client and letting them know what's going to happen. The worst thing you can do is ghost someone or just not tell them, bury your head in the sand and hope it goes away because it doesn't go away. It affects, it affects you. It affects your ability to grow your business with them and with the people that they might recommend you to. So this is this this business. It's the voice of our business business. But don't get confused and think it's about your voice, because at the end of the day, it's really not. It's about how well you conduct your business. Do a good job. Work on your craft. Absolutely. But people will hire you back because you do what you say you're going to do. And if you want to grow a business, you cannot depend on going out and getting new clients every time you do a job. You need to have repeat clients. You've got to go out and get new clients, but then you have to turn those clients into repeat clients. And I know I'm starting to sound like a broken record because I've talked about this on a number of occasions, but the reason I'm doing it is because it is so incredibly important and I just don't see it being given attention. And, um, you know, I hear a lot about, you know, our worth and, and, you know, what we should be getting or what we should be doing. Client, you know, the client's looking at it from their perspective. They're the ones who are paying you. And what they want is what they want. And they want you to, to follow through. They want you to do what you say you're going to do. And frankly, you don't have to be the best voiceover talent to be highly successful. You've got to learn to be good at what you do. You know, you don't have to be fantastic. You don't have to be incredible. Just be good. Be, be competent. But do what you say you're going to do, and you can have a wildly profitable and successful voiceover business. So keep your word. You just, you have to. You have to. Some of you guys, you're focusing energy on all kinds of stuff. And I'm not saying other stuff's not important, but I'm saying let's keep, got to keep the main thing, the main thing. And this is, this is, this is rock solid stuff you can build a business on. If you simply do what you say you're going to do you'll be amazed at the progress you can make and the success that you can have as a voiceover talent. So cheers to keeping your word. Thanks for being here this morning. I so appreciate it. I know I get a little fired up sometimes. I get a little excited, but I was, I was just so blown away by Eddie, Eddie, who's, who's like, the, he's the crew chief of these guys. And um, they're just, you know, have been a dream to work with. And, and I, I can't believe we've actually, after all of these years of ho- owning homes and we've owned, we were counting the other day, like seven houses, I think, over the course of our marriage, quite a few. We've never, never had anybody quite like this. 
Okay, let's see who we've got on the live stream. If you haven't shared your name and where you're watching or listening from this morning, make it th throw it up in the live in the live uh, chat this morning. I want to see what's going on, who's there, and uh, we'll do a few shout outs. Dave from New York City was first on this morning. Dave, one of our voiceover blue printers. One of man, I'm not going to, you know, there's a lot of blue printers on this morning. People who are in my 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 flagship training program. And if you want to know more about that, there are links in the description below. You can learn more about that, but I appreciate you guys showing up. So there's this, I do this, which is free. It's for the general public. It's for everybody. And then I have voiceover university, which we call the voiceover blueprint. It's an ongoing training, coaching, and mentoring deep dive and support. And that's when I mentioned the voiceover blueprint. That's what I'm talking about. And again, the link will get you to all of that in the description. We've got Susan in Stillwater where it's 50. Is it really 53? Susan, awesome. JL, howdy to you in Suvi Island, Oregon. I think I mispronounced that again, and my apologies. Uh, Melissa, what's going on in San Diego? David, good morning. Bill, in my second month, I uh, have had one job a day the past three days. Let's keep the streak going. Bill, that's a good feeling. That is, you know, getting a job is fantastic. And then to follow that up with another job the next day, that's amazing. And then to do it three days in a row, wow. That's like hitting a grand slam in baseball. Well, actually, the fourth day would be like the grand slam, right? You're on triple right now, which is pretty amazing. Aaron, how are you in Como? Denise in Long Island. Corey, happy Thursday to you in Whitehall, Wisconsin. David, what's up? You're very welcome. Thanks for your kind words. AAG in India, how are you doing? John in Rhinebeck, New York. Chris, good morning. Tim, happy one year blueprint member. <laughs> Tim, is it your one year anniversary already? Oh my gosh. She says, I will be renewing because it is so good. Thanks, Tim. So we're thrilled to have you in the program. I can't believe it's been a year. It doesn't seem like it's been a year. Wow. Uh, Roberts in Altoona. Good morning. We've got, uh, let's see here. Greg in Asheville, North Carolina. Wally. Sounds great. Mike. Good morning from Spanish Fort, Alabama. Ralph in Cedar Falls, Iowa. Danielle. Hello to you in Fort Wayne. Sean. Uh, good morning, Mark, in Wintry Estes Park, Colorado, and a little snowflake emoji. Yes, yes, indeed. You know, um, my wife would love to be there right now. She loves, she loves snow. She loves, she used to, she used to ski. I've never been a skier, but she was a snow skier back in the day and loves all that stuff. For me, I say, send me south. MG, good morning in North Carolina. Sandra in Dallas, Fort Worth. Wayne, what's up in the mighty snow-capped Olympic mountains? Jean, good morning. Sirius, how are you doing in Charlotte? Ethan in sunny Toronto. John in San Diego. Rochelle, good morning. Rob says, welcome home. Thank you, Rob. I appreciate that. When is the housewarming party? <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Not yet. It's, it's not done yet. We're not done, but we do have floors we can walk on. So we're getting there. We're getting there. John, uh, welcome back to your booth. Thank you. Amy and Altoona. Hey, Terry, what's going on? Falston, Maryland. Keep your word. It will only benefit you and your voiceover career. Yes, 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 yes. John in Memphis. Anthony in Phoenix. Chip in Sherwood, Oregon. Rusty in the UP of Michigan. Matt in Central New Jersey. Sarah, I'm a project manager or home reno slash remodel and the contractors we deal with. I feel your pain. Yeah. Hey, Dale, what's up in Atlanta? Joy, hello to you. Scotty. Um, Let's see here. I lost my place. The stream's moving faster than I'm talking. Oh, Scotty, there we go. Welcome home from Brookings, uh, South Dakota. Hello, Joy. Hello, David. Hello, Merrill in Northern New Jersey. I live my personal and professional life by being true to my word. Integrity means everything. It does, Merrill. It does. Um, John, hearing static pops in the audio, just letting you know. Thank you. Yeah, I'll, I'll have this all squared away by tomorrow. Uh, this was a, we got in last night and then I just kind of threw this up this morning. So it's not all, it's not all put together yet. Susan says, preach it, Professor Bill. <laughs> Thank you, Susan. Hey, Tyler in Houston. Jerome, good morning to you in Houston as well. Sean in Hayden, Idaho. Uh, Don, let's see. Good morning to you. A noob here. So glad to find your channel. Well, Don, glad to have you here. Thank you. 
Hey, Jolie, thankful for you and your dedication. You're our hero, and Vicky's our real life Wonder Woman. She's helped me so many times. Thank you, Jolie. I tell you, Vicky has a, a thankless job. My wife, Vicky, is our support person, and um, she deals with every single, you know, any, any email that comes in needing help on anything. And you know, when it comes to customer support, some people are a joy to work with. Some people really go out of their way to make things difficult, but she is so patient and she is, I mean, she's on her laptop all day and all evening, off and on all day, because she's always trying to keep up with everything that's going on to make sure you guys are well taken care of. So thanks for the kind words, Jolie. I appreciate that. Uh, GS says, good morning from Longview, Washington, longtime Blueprint member. Yes, GS. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for being here as well. Chad, hello to you in Daytona Beach. As an electrician, keeping your word is the best way to grow your business and gain a good reputation. No different in VO. Yep. Thank you, uh, Andrew in Calgary. Absolutely. Sarah, good morning in Moore, Oklahoma. We've got uh, Jacob in Chile, Atlanta. It's in the 40s. Earlier, it was below freezing. <laughs> Yeah, that's pretty cold for you guys. Uh, Rochelle, good morning. Uh, Jay, what's up in America's armpit in upstate New York? <laughs> oh, that's funny. Okay, let's see here. Uh, where was I at? It's uh, I lost my place again. Okay, here we go. Sweetwater, Tennessee. Rob says Jill's a skier too. Hmm, I'm not. That is interesting, isn't it? <laughs> Uh, good morning from Cannon City, Colorado. Wally, accountability to one's word used to be common, but has become a rare commodity today. Wally in Maryland and uh, JR in Austin. Let's see here. Is anybody I did not say hi to? I think I think I got you all in, guys. Thanks for being here this morning. I greatly appreciate it. Just, you know, sometimes it's seemingly the simple things that make the biggest difference. And I'm not saying it's always easy to keep your word, but it's one of those things that doesn't require talent development, doesn't require you to spend hundreds or thousands of dollars on equipment. It's just doing what you say you're going to do and following up and communicating, you know, with your clients. And that will go a long way further than just about anything else. Have a great one. We'll talk to you soon.